Hello everyone and welcome to my channel where I focus on exposing the narcissist. Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Clarice and I hope you find this video beneficial. So today I want to talk about how the covert narcissist uses optimism or positivity. There are narcissists who like to give the impression that they are optimists, always pretending everything is peachy perfect and that they have such a positive outlook on life. You are probably thinking optimism, positivity, those are good words, usually with good intentions behind them. But when it comes to the narcissist, they take the good and make it evil. So even though some of them appear to have taken on this favorable personality trait of being an optimist, it's just another layer to the mask to hide the true darkness inside. That is why I will be sharing two ways the narcissist hides behind this optimistic facade. So be sure to listen until the end. What is optimism? Optimism is hopefulness and confidence about the future or the success of something. It's a state of mind that some covert narcissists claim to possess. A lot of these narcissists are self-motivating high achievers who make sure they are beaming with optimism when they are in a public arena like the workplace or church. I have found that many covert narcissists in my life are this way and they've gotten this way by depending a lot on motivational talks and self-help books. These seem to boost their ego and their energy and make them push for more, constantly looking to develop themselves to be more successful, which doesn't seem too bad on the surface, right? But some even become addicted to these motivational hypes and begin their days with affirmations. For example, they would be saying to themselves while probably looking in the mirror that today is going to be a great day. I am the best. I am ahead of the game. Today I will win friends and influence more people. I hope I don't offend anyone, but I believe the whole industry of self-improvement not only facilitates narcissists, but contributes to people developing narcissistic traits. I find those books and talks to be like clickbait. You can read or listen and feel hyped at the time and even try to implement what you've just heard. But these things don't actually help. They just leave you keep wanting more and thinking that the next book or the next talk will have all the answers you need. It's a cycle of insanity that narcissists are used to, but that's only one avenue. And I find it's the academic narcissists who tend to find the self-improvement industry fascinating. Your not so academic narcissists, they just talk the positive talk really well. All is good, they are good, everything is going to be okay. That's their mantra. Now let's get into how they use optimism to support their agendas. The first instance is when the narcissist has done wrong. Not only don't they like to apologize or take responsibility, but they would prefer not to talk about it at all. What you are then left with is a lot of unresolved issues that builds up tension within the non-narcissist and elevates their stress levels. But no matter how profound the situation is, the narcissist refuses to talk about it only because they are the one that is in the wrong. This is where they will jump on their high horse and say something like, why do you have to be so negative? Why do you keep bringing up the past? I'm all about positivity and moving forward and you just want to hold me back. Okay, that's just an example, a scenario of how it might play out. Apparently, their claim to optimism 
is the reason why they don't address issues where they have done wrong. It's too much of a negative experience for them to recount their bad actions. Of course, if it was you who wronged them, they will stress the importance of needing to deal with it and show you how you were wrong on so many levels. But when it's them, it's all too much and too negative for their positive mind frame. Narcissists are the biggest hypocrites you will ever meet. Many times their words don't match their actions or their actions don't match their words. They would gaslight us into thinking that we are being negative for wanting to deal with real issues that are affecting us. We are negative for pointing out their flaws. We are negative for talking about how they've hurt us. They would proclaim that our negativity is affecting their positivity. The narcissist pretends to be most optimistic that things will get better or improve when it's them who screw up. Their optimism is one-sided. The second instance where they use fake optimism is when people come to them with their problems. In order to avoid helping or even showing empathy, they encourage the person to be positive and just believe that everything will be okay. The narcissist doesn't care when other people fall on difficult times. So it is a dismissive approach when they start reading off their positive chance, like it's going to be fine, don't worry about it. And if they're religious, it's always leave it to God or you need to trust God more to help you. Because unless it would benefit the narcissist to help you, they will not. It's that simple. They only do things where they can guarantee something back in return. So if you are sick, don't expect sympathy. Expect to hear something along the lines of, it's going to be fine. Oh, that will go away. But unfortunately, many people fall for it and end up commending the narcissist for being so positive and optimistic. It's a win-win situation for the narcissist. Because without actually doing anything, they receive narcissistic supply for uttering a few positive or motivational words. If they were genuine, it would be great, but they are not. They realize it's a way to turn people down or dismiss their issues without them catching on to it. I fell for it for a long time over the years with my husband. He always wanted to talk about his issues his latest gripes at the office for hours on end and asks my advice as to how to deal with certain issues. But when it's my turn, he didn't have too much to say. Just a quick, oh, that will be fine. Everything will work itself out. But no real solutions were ever offered. And on top of that, I would sometimes leave thinking that maybe I do just need to be more positive and just roll with the punches. But again, in this instance, the narcissist is being very hypocritical because they do not take their own advice. No matter how they pretend to be positive and optimistic, they are actually very fearful and constantly worrying about daily life. That fear and anxiety is not positive. It's negative, but they hide their true feelings behind that mask behind those plastic smiles. And the truth is, being optimistic is good for you. It's good for your state of mind and your health. And some people benefit from hearing a narcissist speak motivational words and are helped in the process. But the same can't be said for the narcissist, who is not capable of practicing what they preach because it would actually do them some good if they could be genuinely positive and optimistic. But in their narcissistic minds, there is no space for sincerity or honesty. So instead of experiencing the real thing, they fake it just like everything else. So their false optimism or positive outlook is a sham.
and it's reserved for them to pick and choose when it's most convenient. And it's always in favor of the narcissist agenda. I hope my message is understood and I look forward to hearing what others have to share on this topic. So please leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more and don't forget to click that bell to turn on notifications from this channel. Until next time, peace and blessings.